All right, Travis Wayne Goodsell. Slept in uh, because uh, getting up to go running would have done no good. Would have gotten all hot and sweaty. We had rain all through the night. We still have it this morning. Uh, so I'd be all wet. But um, if you remember yesterday, last evening's video, we have no water in our pipes. So I can't take a shower. I can't uh, use any utensils or dishes to eat with because that would require that I use water to boil, to clean the dishes. that I boil water to do a sponge bath. So, yay. Trump was in my dream this morning. I, I remember that I was going to go swimming with a couple other women and uh, took out my keys and my Urim and Thummim. I've shown you my Urim and Thummim. <laughs> and uh, set them with my uh, other stuff. I don't know if it was my wallet or what, but so that they don't pop out during the swim. But then uh, there was a, a meeting where a bunch of people were gathered together and, and uh, people were talking and Trump was sitting in the middle of the audience. He was equal like to the rest of us. And uh, he burst it out in the middle of somebody's talk or speech or whatever it was that was going on there and uh, started talking about himself interrupting the whole thing I also remember that uh, I didn't have to buy hot dogs because the residence where I was staying already had a supply of hot dogs, which was weird. Uh, but uh, that reminds me of uh, of the water we got from the crew that was working on the pipes and caused the crack, so that we don't have plumbing. Uh, last year. start of summer, which was a record-breaking uh, heat wave here in Utah, my air unit went out because, uh, well, the mold overcame it, and I couldn't breathe, and so I had to shut it down. And uh, the landlord refused to fix it. Just outright refused. It's not considered an emergency. We're not going to fix it. I went the whole summer and into the fall before they finally consented to say, okay, I guess we'll fix it. Oh, I had no idea it was this bad. Dear God. They literally wanted me dead. And so, yeah, the lawsuit had to be filed because the church has been putting too much pressure on me to get out of this place, to die. And so, uh, the church left me no other option. And so, yeah, it's RICO conspiracy.
because there are others who are doing the bidding of the church. But uh, when I was rushed to the hospital, the doctor couldn't do anything for me. It's just allergies. I'm allergic to mold. And uh, she said, well, uh, we can give you some masks. <laughs> so yeah, I got a supply of masks, but they don't do any good. So I, I put them with my first aid kit. And then this year, lo and behold, coronavirus, where we need masks to protect other people in case I get coronavirus. Uh, a mask protects you guys from getting it from me if I have contracted it. And so uh, it's an interesting twist of fate that my landlord's attempt to murder me, refusing to fix it, thus the air units that I had to buy, <coughs> turned out to provide me with another uh, tool, mask, the masks, that were to be used now. Because I wouldn't have been able to find masks. <laughs> you know, Amazon was selling the fraudulent masks and got busted for that. So, yeah. And the uh, trouble with the air unit resulted in a protection for the future. And so that's why I'm thinking with the water and the plumbing, getting supply of water. I already had a supply of water, but I got more water. And that's what's been ringing through my head since last night when I was given my first supply of water. Is that, is there going to be something that's going to require me to have water beyond this? If it's if this is fixed today, as they are hoping, <laughs> uh, there won't be any need to boil water, to do dishes, to to bathe, and such. Things will go back to normal, and I'll just have an extra supply of water. But again, also with the stimulus, I was able to fill up my pantry, and so my weekly grocery shopping is minimal. I just need milk, orange juice. That's pretty much it. You know, it's perishable stuff uh, that would go for uh, regular stuff. The meals that I have, uh, they don't require perishable stuff per se. And Because uh, I made sure to get cans and boxes of food rather than uh, food that is perishable that would need to be cooked and, and such. I mean, I still have some of that and I'm trying to use that first. But, uh, yeah, I knew what to buy when this coronavirus doesn't go away because our leaders aren't wanting it to go away. And I've already talked to you about this. It's because the 1% who do investments in the stock market, uh, they sold all their stock right at the beginning of it, reinvested into coronavirus-friendly stocks. And so last Thursday, when we had that 1,800-point drop, the news was all saying, oh, oh, they were concerned that the coronavirus is going to continue on for many months to come. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, the news, come on, guys, do your investigations. They just don't do it anymore. It's like they don't even try to do their jobs. 
And so it's up to me to put all the pieces together and pay attention to all the news for the exclusives on each channel. Because each channel has their unique news story and coverage. And you gotta pay attention to what's unique, pay attention to what's the same, but make sure that the same is consistent and doesn't have the uh, emotional uh, adjectives that are thrown in to uh, force the audience to side with a particular viewpoint. And we started to see that with the protests, is that uh, uh, people were attacking the protesters on the news, saying, oh, you guys need to conform and comply, and go home, no violence. They weren't violent. And, and people had to inform the news about where their place was in reporting the news. And uh, now the news is woke as they're covering the police brutality. But, uh, yeah. <coughs> I'm doubtful that Judge Oberg has done anything for yesterday, but just in case, let's check and find out while I have access to the internet. <laughs> like I said, I have no idea what, if anything, will be required of the extra water I'm getting. I would like it to be because I'm going to travel from Utah to Southern Illinois, winning this case. I mean, I have won it already. It's according to the laws. I'm just waiting for Judge Oberg to do her job. No, nothing. So she's still sitting on it. And like I put in the description in one of the videos yesterday, uh, delaying to do your job is the same thing as not doing your job. I mean, she's brand new, sure, but she's been a federal defense attorney. She knows how to do the job as a magistrate because she's witnessed magistrates do their job. And she knows the law. She's been educated. She's passed the bar. She's been licensed. She knows. She's at a higher bar standard of judgment than I am. And I figured it out just by reading. It's amazing. So that's the one thing I learned in school is that we're given the textbooks for what the teacher is talking about in class. The teacher is not doing anything other than regurgitating what's in the textbooks. And so I learned that uh, I don't need to go to school. I don't need a degree. All I need is a reference book for whatever field I'm wanting to learn and, and, and do. And then there are many things that require actual hands-on application. And so, you know, going to school isn't going to improve your skills. You're not given an opportunity to get right in and start working on it. So, <coughs> I mean, it used to be that getting an education was valuable and worth something. In my dad's generation, if you got a higher education degree, that guaranteed you a higher pay in whatever job you started. They've done away with that, as I found out. Because businesses said, well, you're, you've got uh, higher degrees, but we can't pay you that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, nobody's required to pay somebody what they're worth anymore. And so education is worthless. And yet, you still see it. All of you went, got a higher education. Uh, 
the new millennial generation is going out getting education going deep into debt they're not expected to be able to ever pay it off they're not ever expected to buy all their own home uh, that was my generation sure enough they were right about that uh, but uh, yeah everybody's education is worthless unless it's a specific field such as a doctor or nurse because that's directly applicable to our current crisis but uh, uh, getting paid a certain amount the higher you go is no longer guaranteed <coughs> so uh, What else should I do? Let's see if there's any comment reviews to give you guys. And if not, then we'll go elsewhere. We'll check my old channel. See if anybody's responding from the Defense Council again. formerly called my second wife. She's still trying to reach out and she's still not getting it. You gotta be nice if you want to come back. You gotta have that change of heart. Okay, here's... I got three comments on my old channel. Uh, here's a doctor who's finally replied. called him out because he says I noticed the ring what does it mean and then the next comment which was immediately after he says what do you think of Yeshua yeah he, he didn't spell it right uh, he meant to say Yahashua so I went and checked his site to see what he's got Let's see if he's legit or what and uh, he's got a channel dedicated to Yahashua. And so I responded back, you're a fraud. You come asking me what the symbol on my ring is, <laughs> and you have a channel or a playlist for Yahashua. Man, you're just nothing but a fraud. Uh, let's see. And so he's calling himself a doctor, too, which, yeah, a doctor of what? Not a real doctor, I imagine. But here he is, he's back. And he's using Coptic. Ooh. Travis Wayne Goodsell, I think I found this in the research I was doing. Hope I'm on the right track. Aya. Egyptian. Ya, yeah, Coptic. Uh, oh. He is a lunar deity in ancient Egyptian religion. The word Yah simply means moon. It is also transliterated as Yah, Yah, Jah, John, or Aya. Yeah, so, good for you. <coughs> and then he also responded with another comment. Travis Wayne Goodsell, I do love Yahweh, uh, Yahuwah. Uh, his precious son, the Messiah, Yahashua. My wife and I enjoyed watching your video. The question I asked was to learn. You mentioned that the Egyptians worship someone called Yah, obviously a deity not of our Heavenly Father. Okay, so you're mixing religions here. Uh, also, didn't realize the Mormon Church was that corrupt was a real eye-opener. I am but a humble servant wanting to learn. Please don't be on the defensive with me. Shalom. <laughs> uh, he's responding to the LDS Church to be the Illuminati Church, which was where these other uh, uh, people for the Uh, 
wow, this is interesting. Another guy has commented on another video, my famous one, the date, LDS dates for the return to Independence, Missouri. Brendan Labrum. He's immediately putting out the warning. This is not the teachings of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Yeah, that's the whole problem, is it's not being taught in the church. Unfortunately, Travis, you know this. <laughs> not sure what has happened in your life to lead you to this state, but surely claiming and propagating falsehoods uh, yeah, to soothe your personal grievances with accomplishing nothing. This video was before I did church history research. This video was before I had grievances with the LDS church directly. <laughs> so whatever is on this guy's psychotic trip, uh, let's see, it will accomplish nothing. Well, I've destroyed the church. It's about to go bye-bye, Brendan. For anyone, how grateful I am to have the companionship of the Holy Ghost and to not do any work after I get revelation. <laughs> Call it truth. And the subsequent gift of discernment. <laughs> to recognize the patterns of truth and light in contrast to those of the adversary. Oh dear God. <laughs> the irony of your position of heeding the warning signs is present in your stiff neck and high-headed response to the <laughs> council's <laughs> of his certainly authorized servants. He has not gone over my other videos. You are, in fact, acting as the same false prophets you accurately affirm are out in the world. See, what the hell? Like I said, this video right here is not going against the church. It's supporting the church. And this guy, obviously, is selecting out this video to make the comment, rather than on the other videos that he's apparently referring to. <laughs> oh man, he is just going off on me. And he has no reason to, because I can simply respond, once you're baptized, you're supposed to be looking for the signs of my coming. And that would immediately shut him up, but I've got to ban this guy. And so I'm not going to even respond, other than through this comment reply. Uh, and yeah, he just goes on to pull out Book of Mormon quotes. Uh, where he says, Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he receive, revealeth his servant secret unto his servants, the prophets, Amos 3, 7. Because he doesn't reference it, he just quotes it. And then he goes, Oh, the cunning plan of the evil one, all the vainness, the frailties, and the foolishness of men. When they th think, when they are learned, they think they are wise, and they hearken not to the counsel of God. And like you, for they set it aside supposing they know of themselves, wherefore their wisdom is from. That's from Benjamin giving his talk in Mosiah. Uh, to be learned is good if they, or is that in the Book of Mormon, or uh, Second Nephi? No, it's in Mosiah. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I can check real quick to make sure. Oh, the cunning Yeah, Second Nephi 9. Um, Moza, or Benjamin had a different one. <coughs> yeah, woe unto the rich who are rich as to the things of the world. For because they are rich, they despise the poor, and they persecute the meek, and their hearts are upon their treasures. Brendan, how much money does the church have? in investments versus how much do they give in charity? Brandon? Brandon? Where are you? <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, my God. This was a harmless video that I was forced to do because of the woman, Karen, my second ex. 
because uh, when I learned about this sign, I knew what was coming. And so I was cramming, trying to find out all sorts of stuff about the signs, and wrote the book on signs so that I'd have a reference book, because that's what I learned. All I need is a reference book, and if nobody's created one, I need to make it. <sighs> so, unbelievable. How he could make such an accusation on that old video, it's just appalling that a Mormon would be that way. I mean, he would have to have seen my other videos in order to know that, but he doesn't reference the other videos. He goes straight to this one. Oh, man, he even highlighted it. How are you able to highlight it? I can't figure out how to do any extra special features. I'm high user. I mean, my god, I have others here. Rio Green is not Mormon and thought he could apply his not Mormon Christianity as his standard of judgment to the contents of my video, which is outdated since I've produced a revision. Danny Green was deleted from my channel for commenting without looking at the, any of my current videos. So, yeah, it's... <sighs> Brennan, you are an abusive Mormon, and that represents the true Lucifer God whom you worship. Alright, so yeah, I'll respond to this other guy later. He's not responding. Well, he sort of did. Please, don't beat me. And somebody saw identifying Moses as a pharaoh from academia.edu. I really don't care, guys. You don't need to keep updating me on that. Russell's package is coming today. He hasn't come to me because he doesn't have access to the internet. Plus, it's a DVD collection, and so I convert it for him. And Wearing the hat because I'm having a wonderful hair day. Notice the sign on the hat, Brendan. I mean, but to attack me on that video, back when I was harmless to the church, I was trying to help the church, trying to warn Mormons, and yet he's throwing rocks on my online wall. Remember that, Samuel the Lamanite Mormons? You know, I, I can only assume he went after my old channel because he saw this new one and knew that my, his comment would not appear. Well, it's gone now and so are you. I'm so glad they fixed that. So, 17 more minutes wasted waiting for federal judge. Shows only three views because of their analytical program. Go to customize channel. Go to video manager. <gasps> 18 views? What? It said three. Which is it? Were three people the only ones who came, or 18? I don't understand. How could analytics... Yeah, it, I'm sure Brennan was <laughs> putting these phones <laughs> down and realizing he wasn't getting anywhere. <laughs> Another LDS Mormon bishop bites the dust. Uh, that had the negative yesterday that I saw, but... 
uh, Book of Mormon encoding concerning racism. A Mormon doesn't like this. Wow. Wow. Two people have liked it, but there's a Mormon who doesn't like this. Wow. How shocking. That's amazing. Because these encoding videos that I'm doing are bridge gappers between those who have left the church, those who don't know about the church and just think the Book of Mormon is a fraud, versus Mormons who think the reverse. They are fraudulent in what they think. Uh, and I'm trying to bridge the gap to give people the correct information uh, and about racism, which is going on right now, as we see that the Book of Mormon was talking all about it. It's you, Mormons, that the Book of Mormon is warning about who are the racists, the people who are truly loathsome human beings, who hate human life, who are racist. And that's, that's it. That's all. And I have a Mormon who hates that. Wow. I guess if it's not supporting what the church claims, it's therefore wrong, even if it is good. <laughs> and so here we have three held for review. <laughs> Enter name is the name of the person. TWG, you are a devil from hell. For hell. And he can't even spell hell. Ban. And then we have the spam guys. Amazing video. Wanna be friends? <laughs> I'm a devil from H. Asterisk LL. <laughs> Just say hell. Mormons, it's not a bad word. It's a bad place and a bad state of mind, but it's not a bad word. There is no such thing as a bad word. You can say the F word if YouTube didn't have their idolatrous, religious, specified discrimination policy. But, uh, So, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Mormons are so horrific that I just bust up laughing. Unbelievable. Oh, man. Already dreading the news. Behind the badge, Davis County Deputy Chief Susan Paulson is one rockin' cop. No, do not support cops right now, News. You need to back off on supporting cops. You need to support protesters. Behind the protester is what you need to be doing now. You need to be doing more about this news that broke yesterday about LGBT not being allowed to be discriminated against. Do not turn it on supporting cops and their abuse. But, uh, but hey, police budgets reduced by 5.3 million. I'm assuming here in Utah. Can't quite read the, the thing that's put up there. Salt Lake City Police Department budget proposal. Oh. That's a proposal, not reduced. It's not news until it happens, guys. Uh, news can't do that simple thing. Report the news. Oh, we speculate that this is happening. We speculate that this will happen. We anticipate. We expect. We feel. That's not news. Alright, so uh, last night as I was crawling into bed, got some book ideas, or video ideas. Uh, did you want me to go over the three temple texts? I'd have to do a reading of them. Uh, because the pre-1991 doesn't exist. The 1991 no longer exists. And the 2019 
uh, still the church has not opened up yet uh, but I can do a reading of them for you I've got the text do you want me to read it for you and then have them available for you as reference material that's why I have them because I want them as reference I won't be commenting because they're going to be an hour and a half long but I can go over it with you so. <clears throat> and then the, since Brigham Young is the one who created the endowment ceremony he's also the one who created the covenants in the temple and uh, as a result uh, when Mormons get to the point where Lucifer is talking to the audience, uh, sort of. Uh, if you don't live up to each and every, or if you don't live up to these covenants in this temple this day, you will be under my power, something like that. Uh, he's saying that if we don't obey the covenants, that we're going to be possessed by Satan. And now that I realize the truth, having done the research, and I'm not talking about John DeLynn having his, his uh, No Man Knows My History and Rough Stone Rolling as his source material. Those are not references. I've had to create my own reference book and published it as the real LDS Church history. Uh, and I only got up to... Uh, uh, 1829-ish. Uh, there's a little transition I need to do right there in that period, but uh, uh, that's as far as I was able to publish. Uh, and I've done subsequent research with certain areas after that time. I've had to make some corrections even as I learned more information. Uh, and I did the video playlist, uh, Cooper Smith Shop. Uh, that was crucial to finding that out. Uh, that, uh, again, when you are presented with truth, that changes your previous viewpoint. And so I was assuming from the previous information that I thought I knew, because it was an error in my head, when I was corrected, went, oh, 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 that's new and different. So yeah, that was a, a big boost to my understanding of, of what was actually going on with the Cooper Smith shop that Smith Sr. had. And then uh, the other one was Harmony, Pennsylvania. Uh, playlist also uh, for a video series. And uh, wow. I never realized the scam that the Mormons were pulling off on Google Maps, <laughs> let alone rewriting history. Because Joseph made a simple error in his 1838 history where he said, Harmony, Susquehanna River, Pennsylvania. <laughs> he made a mistake of putting Harmony with Susquehanna. No. <laughs> Wrong harmony. <laughs> so that's how I figured it out. And uh, realized that the church is purposely making Google Maps comply and conform with this. They put a Methodist church in the middle of the forest. <laughs> oh, man. That is bad news. Let me see. Uh, 40 minutes? Nobody's going to watch this, are you?